Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to show you how to fully fit this metallic chrome telescopic extendable shower curtain rod rail. So stay tuned. I got this rod rail from argos.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description below. This rod rail extends from 105cm to 194cm. Fitting is really easy, with no screws, nails or tools required, this shower rail is self-supporting. So with no fittings required, all that simply needs to be done is for the shower rail to be put together, fully adjusted to the size of your shower opening, and lock into place. Well in the back we have the skid pads, the locking mechanisms, and some shower curtain hooks. Before attaching both poles, clip on the internal adjusting mechanism. Then slide on the tension locking mechanism cap to the other end of the pole. Now, grab the plastic in our anti-skid cap and attach the cap to the large pole end locking mechanism. Attach the large end anti-skid cap. And then you can go ahead and attach both poles together. Grab the pole with the locking mechanism on the end and gently slide it, inserting it into the pole that has no attachments on. Once that's in place, then go ahead and screw on the large locking mechanism. And secondly, slide on and lock into place the small locking mechanism cap. To complete this pole, attach the very last part, which is the small anti-skid pad. Before attaching the shower pole, it's best to wipe down and dry any surfaces as this will help the anti-skid pads have better grip. Now lift the shower pole into place, adjust it so it fits between the two gaps, and then tie up both locking mechanisms, one on the end and the one in the middle, so it tightens up and the anti-skid pads will now grip both walls. And it's very easy to do too. With just two fingers, you just twist the cap and it's simply locked. Just follow the arrows on both locking mechanisms to tighten, and then the opposite way to loosen up if you want to take the pole down. This shower reel comes with plastic chrome shower curtain hooks, which can be only attached by taking one anti-skid pad off the end of the shower reel. Now this is what it looks like with the shower curtain hook slid into place. But the shower curtain I'm going to be using today is one with eyelet fittings. So let me release this pole real quick and attach the shower curtain to the rail. Well finally this is what it looks like with the eyelet shower curtain now fitted to this rail. In whole this shower reel took 10 minutes to put together and put up. It is strong and it has good grip of tiled surfaces. Well I hope this video helped in some way. Please feel free to share, drop a like and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.